Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're making progress on uh, the Damascus. I'm hoping to release part two fairly soon here, but I've got to take a little short break because I got to do some repair work to the forge. My fire bricks are crumbling, and what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to make new fire bricks. So let's get started. As you can see, the uh, fire bricks are pretty well beat up, so it looks like we're going to have to replace these. And I'm going to—I want something that's a little bit more permanent. And as you can see, the uh, refractory line around my forge has been through a lot it's taken a lot of heat and a lot of punishment but it, it holds up really well so I think it'll make a pretty good uh, fire brick material so we're looking at the back side of the forge um, basically I used a 8 by 8 inch uh, steel tube and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one solid brick for the back so it'll probably be like a 9 by 9 and I think that'll work well since for the most part I keep the back of the forge closed up most times for most of my general forge work that I do unless I'm doing something really long and then I would use like two half bricks so on the front I'm, I'm using right now just two uh, full uh, fire bricks and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, two full fire bricks as opposed to having the one large 9x9 nine nine on the back this allows me to open and close the forge as I need to uh, conserve heat between forgings. So what I have here is some leftover refactory cement from when I lined my forge. I got this stuff on a uh, on, online from a company that supplies this type of material. If you do a Google search for refactory cement, you can find find a company or companies that supply uh, this material. But what I ended up getting was this is I believe if I remember right is rated for like 5,000 degrees. Um, it's probably the most durable, a little less insulating value but I wanted something that was going to last and I didn't have to really mess around with it so I think this will make really good fire break. okay so basically the plan is right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a wooden frame we're going to mix up the uh, refactory cement and then we're going to pour it into this uh, this wooden frame and let it set up for a day and then after that I'm going to take it out probably put it in, in my uh, uh, oven inside the house for probably a couple you know a couple of hours or so 200 degrees, dry it out, get all the moisture out, cure it enough so we can actually introduce it to the forge and not break it or anything like that by applying too much heat too fast. So that's the plan. So let's get started mixing up the materials. Okay guys, I'm not going to bore you too much with the details of how to make a box here. The point is we're making ourselves some new uh, fire bricks for the forge, so uh, bear with me here and we'll get this thing assembled. removed so she looks it's pretty solid okay we have the frame all assembled all we have to do now is get a uh, bottom on it and we'll be ready to fill her up all right all we have to do now is add the refractory cement okay so basically I made a really thick consistency here. The whole point is you want to get a little moisture in this as you can because it makes for a much stronger 
refractory. You want to basically get it wet enough so it's through all the uh, material is thoroughly wet but not too wet. When it looks like I apparently did not make enough. Might be enough for the first brick. You want to make sure you press it all the way down in there and get it completely formed in. Squeeze it out. Be close. By the way, before I poured the uh, refractory cement in here, I put a good uh, heavy coating of uh, vegetable oil on the form. That way it should make it easier to remove the bricks after. Glad to be finally getting this done. I've been wanting to do this for a while. A little, a little dry there, better mix her up. It should make some pretty good fiber. It should last a pretty good long time too. Alright, so I decided to let this dry for 48 hours instead of just one day. I checked it out, it was still a little bit on the soft side. I could kind of sink my thumbnail into this, so Rather uh, be safe than starry and or on the side of caution, but now it's ready to take this apart and see what we have. Okay, it looks like the oil worked pretty decent. Still pretty green though, so what I'm going to do now is stick them in the oven and cure them a little bit, dry them out before I put them on the forge and subject them to such high temperatures. But I'd be curious to see how these babies hold up. They look pretty good though. I'm taking a little bit of a closer look at these uh, corners here. And I noticed that the refractory material is crumbling a little bit. And what I suspect has happened is that the wooden forms probably wicked a little bit of the moisture out, thereby allowing it to dry a little too quickly. And when, when you work with concrete of any kind, you don't want it to dry out too fast. So probably what I would have done in the future if I ever do this again is I would probably coat the wood form with either like a wax or even line it with some plastic just to keep the uh, moisture contained in the concrete or the uh, refractory cement longer. Because if you go over here, everything seems really hard and solid. And there's no crumbling at all. And so I think that's what has happened. Okay, so I'm putting them in the oven. I'm going to start the temperature at around 200 degrees. Probably do that for about an hour. And then I'll gradually increase probably about 50 degrees or so per hour and gradually bring them up to temperature and dry them out. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Um, the bricks are now in the oven, they're curing, and I'm gonna get back to work working on the uh, Damascus uh, billet and uh, get that video out to you shortly. Uh, we're gonna get the uh, bricks on the forge, we're gonna fire up, try them out, and we're gonna forge out that Damascus billet. So uh, th again, thanks for joining me. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and take care.